how Texas farmers deal with millions of wild boars destroying cornfields. Hello, my friends. Texas is one of the largest corn producing states in America. Cornfields not only provide essential food sources, but also serve as the primary income for many Texas farmers. Yearly, these farmers diligently work to plant and tend their cornfields. However, at times, they face undesired outcomes, uprooted soil, desolate fields, and remaining corn nibbled away. Faced with these situations, farmers have limited choices. They must decide whether to continue battling those causing these issues or abandon the fields they've worked hard to cultivate. This is a story about the struggle for survival of farmers against seemingly harmless creature, but in reality, a dangerous invader, wild boars. Join us in exploring this challenging journey. Recently, we witnessed a wild hog invasion into a cornfield in Texas. What's notable interesting is how they cause devastating destruction and create unmanageable chaos. These noses are keen, capable of detecting scents of food and enticing aromas from lush fields. They venture with their offspring to relish the products farmers prepare to harvest. What makes them unbashedly destroy cornfields instead of choosing other food? This leads us to explore the importance of corn to wild hogs. Corn stands as one of the favorite foods for wild hogs, providing ample nutrients and energy. Especially during harvesting or post-mowing periods, these are the times hogs relish most. The satisfaction from eating corn might prompt them to return and destroy more fields. Wild hogs often prefer sabotaging cornfields from within rather than outside as it offers protection and concealment, a tactic they frequently employ. Advancing into the cornfield from the middle allows them to utilize rows for cover, creating a safe, hidden area away from prying eyes, particularly when in substantial numbers. Concentrating in the middle means they are consumed more without swift detection. In the U.S., wild hogs cause up to 2.5 billion in losses annually. The government has bolstered efforts against them, particularly in Texas. Hunters receive a $5 bounty per hog if they can hunt them down. Despite being creatures that reproduce rapidly, even a population reduced by 70% can rebound remarkably within two to three years. The increasing number of wild hogs in the dire situation of cornfields have pushed U.S. farmers into challenging circumstances. With the alarming growth of wild hogs across Texas, hunting them from helicopters has become an appealing activity often pursued by sport enthusiasts. The experience starts before dawn with thorough safety courses covering gun handling techniques in and around the aircraft. The hunting expedition begins at sunrise.
wild hogs in the U.S. have caused numerous disasters, wrecking havoc on cornfields and exerting immense pressure on neighboring areas. With nearly 4 million wild hogs living in Texas, witnessing a dozen or more rampaging through and wrecking havoc on farmers' properties is entirely common. Measures like fences and traps have been implemented, but haven't yielded sufficient effectiveness. Wild hogs continue to cause substantial damage to corn growers in Texas, ambushing large swathes of cornfields, resulting not only in crop loss, but also land damage up to 50 acres. To prevent wild hogs from ravaging cornfields, farmers often organize hunts on their land. The best time to hunt wild hogs is, the precise answer, nighttime. As hog hunting becomes a popular method to control the increasing population, the species has adapted to nocturnal behavior. They typically move in herds of 10 to 20 during each foraging session. Many hunters assume you can go out and shoot a hog with minimal effort and skill, but that's not the case. It requires expertise, knowledge, and sometimes advanced skills to take down a hog. It demands agility and precision to keep any wild hog from escaping control. Large-scale wild hog populations not only harm cornfields, but can also pollute water sources and threaten the safety of humans, livestock, and other wildlife. Preventing the invasion of wild hog is a crucial battle safeguarding both food sources and the environment. Understanding this issue and supporting farmers in protecting cornfields and ecosystems from the creature's destruction is imperative. Let's unite and take action to safeguard this vital environment and food source for the community. how farmers and hunters hunt giant wild boar. The issue of wild boars is always complex. With their strong reproductive abilities, few natural enemies, and adaptability to various conditions, they have become an invasive species. They threaten property, domestic livestock, wildlife, and in some cases, even humans. But wild boars aren't just prolific breeders, they can also grow to impressive sizes. Wild boars typically weigh between 100 to 200 kilograms. You might think that's big for a wild boar, but you'd be surprised, as some wild boars can weigh up to 700 kilograms, as you're about to see in this video. This boar was too close to the hunter, and you can clearly see how massive it is. But the hunter chose the perfect moment to shoot at it. It was the perfect shot. It's better to just walk away from a boar instead of confronting it directly. But this guy seems to be enjoying it. He shot it straight in the head. And the boar fell to the ground immediately. These hunters had been tracking the wild boar for a long time, and now it's time to take it down. It 
It measures seven feet in length and weighs 450 pounds. It truly is a colossal beast. But that's not the largest wild boar. This boar was so big that it could fend off a pack of dogs gathering around it. It truly is a frightening wild boar, and it stood its ground until it had the chance to retreat. Wild boars are not just known for their immense strength, they also are considered one of the most intelligent species. Look at this wild boar. It's completely avoiding the traps set by farmers. It even knows how to kneel on its two front legs to reach for food without triggering the trap to collapse. This wild boar is one of the largest ever captured. It was so immense, they had to use a tractor to move it. Weighing 682 kilograms, it was captured in South Sudan by a group of hunters and their dogs. It took them multiple shots to kill this gigantic creature. And the fact that they had to use a tractor to move it speaks volumes. In this instance, there was a large group of wild boars, but the hunters targeted only the largest one among them, and they succeeded. Shoot, shoot, big one, shoot. They were ecstatic to catch the boar after searching on one of their hilltops in the Turkish mountains, where numerous wild boars reside. It wasn't an easy capture, but their sniping skills were top notch. This was a tense standoff between a gigantic wild boar and a hunter. The boars were massive, but the hunter held his ground and remained motionless. Could he make incredible shots? Despite their brief escape, the other two boars now lie in the thicket, the shots having found their mark. This wild boar was also captured in Florida and surely deserves a spot in today's video. It brought this situation upon itself by attacking several farmers before people decided to go after it. This person is about to shoot a 700 kilogram boar with an arrow. I seriously doubt that this is going to do anything to this enormous boar since even bullets don't seem to hurt them much, as we've seen before. The person shoots the arrow and the boar starts running. But the surprising thing is that the boar didn't get too far and it died almost immediately. Unbelievable. Totally dead. <laughs> this person must be quite the marksman to be able to take down a giant like that with just one arrow. This man engaged in an intensive battle with a mass of wild boar in the dead of night. It was once in a lifetime opportunity for the hunter and he wasn't going to miss it at no matter the time. This footage was filmed in North Carolina. Years of stalking and baiting finally paid off. And after numerous attempts, the man managed to take down this gigantic beast, causing a widespread stir as people witnessed the colossal size of the wild boar.
Have you ever seen a wild boar like this one? It weighs over 600 kilograms and also needed a tractor to move it. This one was captured in Poland by this young man who decided to take a picture with it as soon as he was sure it was dead. The photo he took went viral and people dubbed this boar as the largest in the world. A group of friends was out hunting and they caught one of the biggest wild boars in Portugal. Capturing such a large boar isn't an easy task, but the guns and the dogs make it a lot easier. The wild boars we see in this video are some of the biggest in the world. Have you ever come face to face with a wild boar and how did it go? Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. How American farmers are dealing with the threat of nearly 9 million feral hogs. Every year, over 1 million samples of agriculture products are destroyed, causing tens of billions of dollars in losses, which greatly concerns both the people and the government. As a result, they are striving to find new solutions to cope with the menace of wild hog attacks. In Texas, Wild hogs cause hundreds of millions of dollars in damage to agriculturally annually. The ruthless attack farms injure many animals and cause severe destruction to numerous fields. On agriculture real estate forums in the United States, many real estate brokers have mentioned that the first question clients ask them is whether the advanced land has a high population of feral hogs. These hogs roam freely across fields, taking advantage of destroying the days of hard work farmers have put into preparing for the harvest season. This situation not only severely damages agriculture output, but also poses a serious threat to local food supplies and agriculture resources. Due to abundant resources, feral hogs have successfully expanded throughout America. With an estimated population, of 3.5 million, Texas hosts more feral hogs than any other state. They fill at home in parks, golf courses, and sports fields, treating grasslands and gardens as salad bars, causing disruptions to domesticated animals. If left unchecked, the feral hog population could triple in just a year. Wild hogs typically use their snouts to dig for food, a behavior that's one of their most destructive habits. Their rooting and digging destroys vegetation, disrupts soil process, increase erosion, degrade water quality, and incur costs for landowners. Another impact of the feral hog menace is the heavy population of numerous water sources as the free-roaming hogs wander, a challenge resource managers must face. American farmers are increasingly facing a growing problem. These colossal herds of feral hogs are invading their farms and causing widespread damage. Millions of acres of farmland have been destroyed leading to billions of dollars in losses for farmers. Feral hogs have become a major threat to the agriculture industry. These inherently aggressive wild animals often invade farms at night, causing significant damage to crops and creating a host of security and environmental issues. So how do American farmers react to these aggressive attacks by wild feral hogs? Efforts to control feral hog population in the U.S. involve a combination of hunting, trapping, and specialized management techniques. Trap methods may include coral traps and box traps designed to catch multiple species at once.
Hunting feral hogs is a popular recreational activity in the U.S., especially in areas where animals are seen as invasive and causing significant agriculture damage. Some areas implement specific hunting seasons and regulations to control feral hogs. Controlled hunting not only helps regulate the population, but also provides recreational activities and opportunities for hunting enthusiasts. The impact of feral hogs goes beyond concerns about agriculture and ecology, as they can also pose health and safety risks to humans. These animals are known carriers of various diseases, such as brucellosis and pseudorabies, which can be transmitted to both livestock and even humans. Infection rates can increase from zero to approximately 20 to 40 percent, depending on the year. Brucellosis can cause long-term health issues and even death. Some demographic groups, such as hunters and farmers, are at the highest risk. According to the CDC, at least three people in the eastern United States contracted brucellosis in 2007 and 2008 after hunting feral hogs. Moreover, their aggressive behavior and large size can pose a threat to humans, especially in encounters where they feel threatened or anxious. An 89-year-old man in Florida wants to change his Palm Coast neighborhood after being attacked by two feral hogs while walking his dog. Most significantly, in 2019, a woman in Texas was killed by a feral hog on her way to work. Large incursions of feral hogs in the U.S. often occur when they inhabit or move into agriculture or urban areas, damaging natural environments and causing harm to farms or residential areas. One of the largest examples of feral hog incursion in the U.S. is in the states like Texas, Florida, and California. In Texas, feral hogs have caused considerable damage to many agriculture areas, upending farmlands and harming orchards. They also pose security issues for the community and the natural environment by consuming other wild animals' food and potentially causing a decline in native wildlife species. Recent studies estimate annual damages to the agriculture industry in Texas at around $118.8 million, causing damage to 90 to 95 percent of crops. In Florida, feral hogs have also invaded forest areas and freshwater environments, causing severe damage to both the ecosystem and the region's economy. In California, feral hogs have invaded and caused damage to natural forest areas, especially national parks and conservation areas. Therefore, some states have implemented specific regulations and policies to manage the wild species, populations, and minimize their adverse impacts. Firstly, environmental preservation is employed to limit feral hog growth, a sustainable natural environment with various types of wild fauna and flora can reduce the survival and reproduction of feral hogs. Next is the use of biological methods, such as population reduction-based reproductive control methods to manage the feral hog population. These methods focus on intervening in the hog's reproductive process to limit the number of offspring. One of the primary methods used to control feral hogs is trapping. This approach involves using various types of traps, such as coral traps, cage traps, and drop nets, strategically placed in areas frequently visited by feral hogs. These traps are usually baited to attract feral hogs. Captured hogs can be relocated or handled depending on the trapper's purpose. Trapping efforts are often carried out with the cooperation of local wildlife conservation agencies, landowners, and conservation groups to ensure ethical and effective practices that prioritize both the environment and animals' welfare.
Furthermore, deploying specialized fencing systems has proven effective in preventing feral hog incursion into agricultural land and sensitive ecological areas. These fence systems are designed to withstand the strength and agility of feral hogs, making them a practical and sustainable solution to protect investments in agriculture and minimize conflicts between farmers and wild animals. Additionally, strategically arranged fencing along wildlife corridors and sensitive environmental areas can help prevent feral hog invasion in critical conservation areas, thereby safeguarding the integrity of the native ecosystem and preserving biodiversity. By combining these management strategies and fostering collaboration among stockholders, comprehensive control measures can be developed to minimize the adverse effects of feral hog populations on both the environmental and agriculture fields. In conclusion, feral hogs in the U.S. represent a complex ecological and agriculture challenge that requires a multifaceted approach combining management, measures, community awareness, and effective management techniques with their robust reproductive ability. Addressing the feral hog issue demands comprehensive and coordinated efforts from federal, state, and local authorities, as well as the engagement of communities and stakeholders in affected areas. So why don't Americans use wild hog meat? If you're also curious about this question, stay tuned for my next video. I guarantee the answer will satisfy you.